check this out. What's up, y'all? So last video, we introduced you to creep feed grinding on this piece of 1018, where we took 40 thousandths depth of cut. In this video, we're actually gonna take it one step further. We're actually gonna profile a couple of pieces of 4140. Now a brand new wheel on this machine comes in with an eight inch radius. So we're actually gonna put a 12 inch radius on our two parts. We're gonna put a convex radius on the first part and a concave radius on the second part. You know, something kind of like this. So let's check it out. convex radius we're taking eight passes at 30 thousandths depth of cut and 10 inches a minute and we're only hitting about 50 percent spindle load so we could probably actually take a little bit deeper of a cut So we got this part done. Now we're ready to do the concave one. So let's get it loaded up. I even dressed the wheel in between these parts. So I can't wait to see how this radius matches up with the other one. So now we're running our concave part. And for this one, we had to decrease our depth of cut to 25 thousandths because as it's feeding down into the part, it's actually increasing the spindle load more than it is when it's feeding up out of the part. So for this one, we're actually hitting up around 70% spindle load. Oh man, this thing came out so good. Now what we did here today may not be a practical real world application, but it shows you the capabilities of the Blohm grinder and programming this was super simple in the Blohm software. Man, you can barely even see a line there, which tells me that the radius on each part blends perfectly. Now in the next video, we're gonna be stepping it up and making it even more complex. And we're gonna be putting all of this on our academy to show you exactly how to do it. So hit that like and subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell because you're not gonna wanna miss this. See y'all next time.